All right, let's have a look at the Newton's Laws homework sheet. Be prepared to defend your choice. An asteroid tumbles through space in a straight line forever. Is that an example of Newton's 1, Newton's 2, or Newton's 3? 1. 1. That's probably the best answer, correct? Yes. Does anyone want to defend it for 2? No. Because I can. But it's not accelerating. You're correct. And so, therefore, there's no force on it. It doesn't mention a force at all. No force, no acceleration. Oh. I can defend it for two. Number two, you and a friend are on ice skates. You push her and you both move in opposite directions. Clearly that is. It's not two. You push her and there's an acceleration. And they both go in opposite directions. That's not two. It could be, but it's most likely three, right? Most likely three. Okay, number three, you drop your books in the hall running, your books slide down the hall until they slow to a stop. Second. Ah, see now there's here, now we got some controversy. Why two, Hannah? Uh, well, there's the, the friction on the floor and you're accelerating and slowing it down. Not kind of, it is slowing it down. Yeah. Right, exactly. It's the friction force that causes an acceleration to slow it down. I'll take that for two. So I want to say one. Absolutely it could, because an object in motion will stay in motion unless there's an unbalanced force. And clearly there's an unbalanced force here. It's called friction. While making a snowman, you make a really big snowball. You push the ball really hard, but it only accelerates a little. Why do you say second one, Joey? Because mass is big. Mass is big? So that means the acceleration would have to be? Little. Exactly. Number two would likely be the best answer. Number two. Hunters typically get a bruise on their shoulder after firing a shotgun several times. Likely, I'm guessing you all went with? Three. Three. Cars driving in the rain can trap water under the tires. When the brakes are applied, the car still won't stop. No friction, no net force, object in motion stays in motion. One. Number seven, friction. I don't even know what that means. Every year I get to that and I go, I don't know. Second? I don't know. No, it's Kevin. I don't know. Okay, sure, one. Oh, that one's clearly uh, one, right? Okay, now here's a one to, to, to talk about that's a lot of fun. If everyone in the world ran east at the same time, the world would stop spinning. No. Uh, no. <laughs> that is the third law, act and reaction, that's correct. Now, of course, there's always someone that says, would that really work if you ran east? Now, which way? Yeah, we could try it. You guys, I can't even get 30 kids to bring a pencil to class. Do you think you're going to get 7 billion people running in the same direction at the same time? Do we, would we run east? Would that be the proper way to run? No. Well, let's just think about this. Which way is east, folks? That way, behind you. Which way does the sun travel? From east to west. Now, is that what's really happening? No. In fact, the Earth is doing what? East. The Earth is actually going like this, right? Rotating towards the east. So if we ran this way, going this way, if you're on a treadmill and it's going like that way and you're running on it, would that slow it down? Or would you go faster? It would speed it up? If it was going this way? If the, if the floor was going that way and you started running like this, wouldn't that slow it down? Yes. So correct. the correct direction to run is east. Would we have enough mass, 7 billion humans, to do it? Yeah. Not even close! Do you know how big the world is? The Americans would be close. 7 billion people wouldn't even be close. However, if the world did stop spinning, the oceans would spill onto the land, killing us all. First law. First law? Absolutely right. Obviously, the ocean stays in motion. Which way are the Earth's oceans going? Also that way, east. Right? If we were to run all east and we could get the world to stop, which way would the oceans continue? East. So who would it be British Columbia that would get hit first or would it be Newfoundland that gets hit first? 
British Columbia. British Columbia. What was number eight? Uh, Act and reaction. So yes. Warn the people in BC. A powerful explosion can send small materials flying at very fast speeds. Yes. Not a yes, no question. <laughs> Both first and second? Um, I would say probably leaning more towards second, but you can defend probably more, right? Small materials, small masses, large accelerations. Okay. We will continue. We're going to skip the second law tomorrow because it's more of a math one. We're going to leave it to the end. And we're going to do the third one uh, tomorrow. What was the issue?